there's a country where lots of girls get named Istanbul and boys Erdogan. It's got the largest Turkish embassy in the world, is filled with Turkish hospitals and schools, and many of its people adore Turkey. Some can even speak Turkish. But this country isn't one of Turkey's neighbors or even in the same region. That's right, Somalia. In case you haven't heard, Turkey and Somalia are really good buddies. Not only is Turkish Airlines the only international flight there, but Turkey has invested millions into aid and development in Somalia and helps them in their fight against terrorism. Turkey's presence in Somalia, a famine-ridden, war-torn, terrorist-infested country, has something to do with a concept called first mover advantage, and it helps both Turkey and Somalia. You see, there are many African countries that need aid, and many already have heavy foreign investment, mostly from China. But Somalia is different. There, the political and economic climate is so unstable that no one's taking the risk, except Turkey. In 2011, in the height of famine and severe food insecurity that killed 250,000 Somalis, Turkey stepped in with major aid and investment. Erdogan became the first non-African leader to visit Somalia in two decades. After that, Turkish investment went full speed. Ankara started rebuilding the airport, paving roads, building schools and hospitals. Turkish Airlines became the first international carrier to fly to Somalia in more than two decades. And Turkish development agency Tika and the Turkish Red Crescent, along with other NGOs and organizations, began large-scale construction, waste collection and water treatment projects. Turkish Airlines has also helped carry tons of aid during the recent famine. In just six years, Turkey became Somalia's fifth biggest source of imports and has provided more than $1 billion in aid. The bilateral trade went from $6 million to $72 million in five years. And while Turkey is building schools within Somalia, it's also providing thousands of Somali students with scholarships to study in Turkey. Meanwhile, many Turkish aid workers and professionals travel to Somalia to contribute to development, despite frequent Al-Shabaab attacks, especially in the capital. Turkey just recently opened its largest overseas military training facility in Mogadishu, where they can train more than 1,500 Somali troops at a time. And the investment is paying off. Turkey has earned the appreciation of Somalis who see Turkish support and aid all around them. They watch Turkish soap operas and buy Turkish products. And while Turkish officials express that it's out of humanitarian duty that they're helping rebuild Somalia, it's a win-win for both sides. Somalia is providing Turkey with a new market in a place mostly untouched by other investors, where it can enjoy its first mover advantage. And the Horn of Africa country is also in a strategic location, serving as a gateway to the rest of Africa. It could boost Turkey's economy and influence in the continent, while helping stabilize a country that's been suffering from war, poverty and terror for decades. Other nations have also helped Somalia in the past, but Turkey's interaction with Mogadishu has no colonial or Cold War baggage like many other countries and ordinary Somalis can see that the Turkish presence is improving their lives.